The most important message I can send today is that my administration is committed to becoming the most efficiently operated government this city has ever seen and being open and transparent about all matters concerning city business. Once again, being open and transparent about all matters concerning city business. Our commitment is unwavering and will not be compromised by anyone's political agenda. This is and will continue to be my promise to the citizens of the great city of Mount Vernon. I thank you for your attention. If there are questions, I'll certainly entertain them at this point. Mayor of Celestiation, how far will this go? As far as who you will, who will have responsibilities? No one will have respected one another. The Office of the Inspector General is completely independent. Once the request is made, I do not set the scope of the investigation. Uh, he's certainly a qualified professional. And uh, once the request is made, he sets the scope of the investigation and he will certainly uh, report on his results. Mr. Sergeant, you can uh, state what do you expect this investigation on? What, what the scope of the investigation should be? Sir, at this point, I'm going to be able to appreciate At this point, it's kind of premature to identify exactly what the scope of the uh, investigation will be. Uh, but we will uh, take an initial uh, look at the uh, child transcripts from the uh, parent child just ended, see the evidence that was uh, uh, submitted at that point in time, and then look at the controls we have in place in City Hall. Once I start that, then there's a, there's a whole process you go through during the investigation. So I have to evaluate it first, and then I'll uh, develop an uh, investigative strategy that would find the scope. Not at this point in time. You said why um, uh, Terry Post and Wayne Charles were indicted uh, last March. Why why you come now for an internal investigation in terms of how things go in terms of oversight and things like that? Well, well certainly understanding that the you know this is going to trial um, by the federal government and uh, again, through the cooperation of this office, we did not want to interfere with the process of the trial in terms of them receiving a, 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 a fair trial. But, but I do want to emphasize, Mr. Bandler, that that did not stop us however, from instituting internal controls from, at that point. Did the defense ask you not to proceed until they finish the trial or this is on your own? This is on my own. Has your office began a full-scale investigation into the city of Mount Vernon Buildings Commissioner Ralph Tedesco and the allegations set forth at yesterday's press conference? And what internal controls are, do you plan to put in place to deal with the continuing criminal enterprise operating out of the city of Mount Vernon's building department? Um, with all due respect, Mr. Rivers, you are not this is a press conference. Yeah, I'm asking a question. But you're not popular. Uh, I'm a public of c uh, c civilian of Mount Vernon, and I'm asking a question. Uh, Are you refusing to answer the question? No, I'm saying to you, you're not a part of the press. This is a press I need to be part of the press to ask a question? Uh, let me be clear. You have made your, you know, your feelings known. I'm, not, I'm just asking I'm, a question. I'm not going to make it. Any other people from the press have it? Question. So you're not going to, you refuse to answer my question. Let the record reflect that. The, re the record is going to reflect that you sent to my office communication and we are looking into the allegations that you uh, presented in your communication. But again, uh, that, that has already been made clear to you. And this is a press conference that has, um, again, you know, we've, we've already dealt with, you know, and, and are dealing with your request. So there's no investigation currently right now, so you're telling us. Uh, any members of the press have a question? Mr. Charles Controls, do you elaborate a little bit more on these specific ones? Okay, when we were looking at all vouchers and purchase orders, they were reviewed personally by me if they exceeded $250. Um, as it, and it was served as two purposes. Number one, I was able to see uh, just how prudent we, my commissioners and department heads were spending this month. Uh, it also gave 